here is the Amazon Jank special build. It stemmed from my morbid curiosity of Amazon parts and it sort of morphed into actually a very fun project and actually a really capable vehicle. How this build all started was I just saw some axles listed on eBay. Um, they were complete with a wraith skid plate with some nice Vanquish wraith links. It also had some shocks on them and also a Vanquish uh, server mount. And it turned out that they had really nice parts on the inside. They had um, axial um, drive uh, axle shaft full of Vanquish spools and also uh, machine gears. I think they're axial machine gears front and rear and they're over under drive. So from there, it got me thinking. I had these uh, a bunch of stuff saved in my Amazon cart for a while. They're just like, you know, Amazon special electronics parts. And out of pure curiosity, I decided to buy all of them and this build was born. Any sort of assembled axles on Amazon, I would recommend not to get them because the internal drivetrain components are just not um, quality at all. The steel is way too soft, it's going to break in basically no time. In terms of drivetrain, again, uh, as I said, Vanquish spools, machines over under drive gears, we have beef tubes, we've got uh, universals up front. These are all just stock. Uh, the newer versions of the Wraith Wild Ball HD drive shafts. These just came with the sort of axle slider kit I got off eBay. In the middle, uh, powering all is a transmission, as an axial S610 II lock transmission. Again, I also got this off eBay separately from a chop shop. Uh, this particular one was brand new and it came out of a axial S610 II, the Jeep RCR one. So unfortunately, it does have plastic gears in the inside. Uh, however, I did have a Robinson Racing HD output gear and shaft combo, so I just threw it in there um, just to add a little bit of durability, but the idler gear is still plastic. In terms of wheels and tyres, we have J-Concepts Rupture 2.2s. These are some brilliant tyres, running stock foams on G-made uh, plastic beadlock wheels. Again, these are relatively expensive. I think they're $14 a pair. In terms of shocks, these are a um, Axial s 3 axle kit um, shocks. You know, they're really decent shocks. Again, I got up on eBay. Um, someone was selling them for like $24 for two pairs. So let's dive into our first Amazon special part. These knuckles, these are brass knuckles, uh, three piece. They're sort of, uh, these mounts are bolted on. And um, they're basically, from my understanding, a clone of the Deluxe Fab parts. I have a separate video just showing how to put these together, but they came together really nice. They were around $28, so you know, add some performance and durability to the truck. And the next Amazon special part was the cage. This is a G-Mate R1 clone cage, basically from Endura. Anyways, this cage is actually all right. It was $39, which is a little pricey. It came with these panels, which is nice, and some like weird, um, strange knockoff stickers here. But realistically, if I were to do this build again, I would actually go straight to the R1 cage because you can get a whole R1 cage kit with um, Lexan panels, and just nicer, more mounting hole options uh, as a package of aiming hobbies for about $45. So that's $6 difference for me. Honestly, I would go for the R1 cage. So this, not really worth it, in my opinion. Anyways, um, the cage I went together all right. Um, these top struts here that connect the two halves of the cage are aluminium. So that's um, actually surprisingly nice. Um, these are solid, just molded. I assume ABS plastic uh, panels, but um, you know, they look all right actually. Uh, they looked a bit cheap, but you know, and when you put, after you put them together, it actually looks all right. Uh, and in keeping with the jank spirit, we have ourselves some uh, duct tape racing stripes here, because you know, why not? On to electronics. Um, all the electronics are off Amazon. First up with the servo here, this is from Flash Hobbies. This is a direct power servo, so um, you plug it straight into your LiPo battery or whatever you're running. Um, it can run up to 4S LiPo, but currently I just have it off a 3S here. Claims 50 kilos. I'm not so sure about that claim, but it works fine. Um, it is just about strong enough to move these 2.2 pies around. Uh, and it is actually relatively quick, so that's pretty nice. It does come with a servo horn uh, out of the box, so this is what I have here. And then onto the ESC, here is the ISDT ESC70, and this is actually a really nice uh, part for a really cheap price. I don't really know how they are able to be selling these for $24, but this is, in my opinion, actually better than Hobbywing 1080. Um, 
because it just has a lot more programmability. The app is a bit finicky, but for me at least, the Bluetooth worked fine. I had no problems with that. The receiver is a FSIA6. This is actually a um, fly sky receiver meant for air vehicles, so your helicopters, airplanes. But, you know, it pairs up with the GT5 just fine. And I don't need AVC for crawlers. So, um, you know, this is a cheap, lightweight receiver around, I think, $16 I got it for off, again, Amazon. And, you know, it works brilliantly. Uh, for batteries, these are some 2200 mAh 3S packs. And this is like a extra small, sort of stubby size. I'm not entirely sure if it actually is 2200. From my testing, I feel like it's more around 2000 rather than 2200. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, it runs fine. And it was, again, relatively inexpensive. Around $24 for a pair. I got two pairs, so four batteries in total for around just under $50, which, you know, I think it's a really good deal. Finally, we have our motor. This is a Rocket, uh, Surpass Hobby Rocket 540 Plus 16 turn. So uh, this particular motor is basically a clone of the uh, Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Magnum line. So it's five slot with an extra um, large diameter armature. And again, it's about $50 or so, a bit pricey for a brush motor, especially one off Amazon. But I've tested one uh, before. You can check out the video. It is quite a while ago. But uh, these motors actually do really well. Again, low speed control is not the best, but for the size and price, you're getting quite a lot of power packed into this small package. Some sort of custom parts is the skid plate here. Uh, this I designed up and 3D printed. Let's uh, see what the link mounts here, the front upper link mounts. The body doesn't, the chassis doesn't have any place for link mounts. So I had to design sort of just basically a plate out of uh, PLA here. I'm using ESUM PLA Plus. Uh, this mount, when I do get around to it, I'll probably swap over to an eighth inch aluminium plate. But uh, for now, the 3D printed part actually holds up, holds up just fine. And then at the back here is a link riser. Um, I got the original file of, I think, Thingiverse maybe. I will put the link down below, but I actually um, copied all the hole spacings, but I redesigned the shape itself. So it's just a little cleaner and uh, stronger. So yeah, there we have it. Um, Let's go and take it out for a drive and see how it does. So just a quick speed test here. You know, nothing too insane. Um, the 16 turn version of this motor is equivalent to around uh, 1600 kV, I think. So, you know, on a 3S Vipo, it has some good wheel speed, but also uh, plenty of torque. Uh, I am sort of tempted oops, <laughs> to um, try uh, running a even lower uh, or higher turn motor with um, 4S LiPo just to take advantage of um, that extra power for the servo especially. And you know, I'm not all too worried about the overall long-term durability since I'm not really trailing this vehicle and it's not gonna be on throttle, at least full throttle for a long periods or sustained period of time. So brush wear is not such a concern but that's something i might have to look into here we are out with the rock buggy uh just on the rip wrap next to the car park uh this rock is sort of like a sedimentary rock it's sort of like a slate so it's actually uh, relatively uh grippy um some of the rocks are a little powdery but overall it has pretty good traction again 3s lipo right here uh, uh let's take it for a spin <laughs> 